All right, Tatiana for Where is the Buzz TV? And I am here with the new star of the NBC series, Ordinary Joe, Charlie Barnett. How are you today? Good, thank you for having me, Tatiana, as well. Thank you for being here. I'm super excited to chat with you. Um, so I got to watch the pilot and first off, like the show immediately just takes you on this whirlwind. And I think people kind of don't realize that, oh, if you choose one thing that your life can kind of change in that what if moment. So talk a little bit about like the premise of the show. So it, it does, it really boils down to choices and the what if question where, what if I'd gone this way or what if I'd done this or what if I'd tried this route and where would I be? Um, I, I think it's human nature that we all kind of explore that. I actually think it's really healthy to explore that. It, it, it pushes you in your life, in your existence that you're living to ask for more or to challenge yourself in ways. What's, what's the dangerous part is getting lost in it and thinking that you've missed out on something or have forgone or forgotten or forgone, forgone, forgone. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was gonna back you up with whatever. <laughs> For, forgotten uh, uh, could have been. Um, I, I I think about it a lot of times, like, um, and I I'm, this is like a broken record. I've been saying it too many times, but like each one of our characters are a seed, and from that seed we sprout different vines, and the vines are our existence, are our lives. Um, one vine goes and grows on the side of a, a tree. One grows on the side of a, a house. The other one down to the highway, and one to the creek. Um, they all are going to have to have different challenges getting there, living there, existing in that, um, finding food and, and flourishing. So if you think about it, everything that plays a part in your life, your career is a huge one, your relationships, another big one, um, physical challenges, um, boundaries, limitations, injustices, all of that stuff plays a part in your trajectory and your direction. Um, making you a better person, hopefully giving you the opportunity to continue to live life and to push forward. Um, but that's kind of in a, in a <laughs> that's like a yeah, paragraph. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, I feel like you're preaching to me right now because I just feel like that was everything I needed to hear personally for my life. And even watching the show, you, you think, um, that just from the pilot, you think that one scenario may be better than the other, but each what if you know moment can uh, present its own set of challenges and its own set of issues. So really like the show is just so, so well done. So congratulations on that. Thank you. And I'm glad that you could see that. I mean, like it really, I remember watching even the pilot and I, you know, I knew the script, I worked with it. I saw them film in half of the scenes. <laughs> um, I still watched being like, oh, I'm fighting for this person, or I hope that person, that, or that's the right way to go. And I, th I think it's human nature too, to jump to those kind of judgment places. But you start to realize as you get through towards the end of it, there's things that you love about each Joe. There's things that you love about each uh, uh, Amy. There's things you love about each Eric. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, you, I, hopefully, and I don't want to plant this in anybody's mind, but I hope we just come away from it having a better understanding of hey, maybe I can relate to that person in my own life more because I could have been down that path. I could have taken that route and now I can see them in a different light. Um, 100%, yeah. I think the show showcases that empathy and uh, consideration and passion for each different scenario, each moment with that you follow through with the characters. So what have you been telling people uh, when they ask you about your character, Eric? Because <laughs> technically there's a lot of different answers that you can give. He is, he is so many people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I start off, I, say, I mean, like his last name definitely gives me a leeway. His name is Eric Payne. He is a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Sorry if I'm breaking the... <laughs> um, we're allowed to cuss. Um, he he is a lovable human being in every one of the realms, but in each one of the existences, I think he prods or pushes maybe more than most people are comfortable with. Um, and I'm excited to keep exploring that, seeing so it go further. Yeah. What was that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I lost you for a minute. I think you were saying um, in each scenario, he kind of pushes. Yeah, in each scenario, he, he's a little bit of a, a pusher. I mean, he 
in general, just Joe and his relationship, they've known each other since kindergarten. And mm -hmm. even though in say in music world, our, our relationship has pulled apart just because of the nature of him being an insanely huge celebrity. Um, right. and bad trying to figure out where my next you know step is going to be um you 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 start to see him though uh acknowledging that our history is something that you can't escape and i will always push you to to, to at least if not help myself <laughs> <laughs> you as a friend um right that's a kind of the beautiful nature of each one of these these worlds for all of us, there is something that connects us back into the core existence of who we are, no matter what the experience, no matter what the relationship, no matter what the challenge. Yeah, I can say that about at least each Eric, that he was pushing the main character, Joe, to be great or to be better or to try something that he's never done before. So I can at least appreciate that about Eric uh, as a friend and um, excited to kind of navigate his own journey through each of the worlds as well. Um, what can you tell us about the rest of the season? Not, not so much in story, but just kind of some of the things that audiences are going to expect. Because even from the pilot, I'm like, okay, I think I like this, you know, world better. And then you get to the end and it's like, oh gosh, like there's so much going on. So <laughs> that life though. Like, I, I mean, just from the pilot, I don't think I'm giving anything away. Uh, I had an interview earlier today where people were talking about which existence would you choose if, if like mm -hmm. Joe, with he's following in the career of his dreams he's right. following the love of his life or he's following in his father's footsteps right mm -hmm. um follow family love or yourself yeah every single one of them you know shit goes down um but for a jumping off point in the, the world where he follows love he's in the middle of a divorce in the world where he's following music he's at the pinnacle of his career but he has no, no base and no relation and he feels lost. Um, in the world of following his father, he can't seem to find his own voice. He can't seem to find his own footing um, to make his own decisions. Uh, thankfully, yeah. part in that world. Uh, <laughs> um, I think anything that you go into expecting in life will leave you flat on your ass. And that's mm. kind of the joy of it and the challenge all wrapped up into one. It should. You fall off the horse, you gotta get back on. How do you get back on it is is the interesting part. Yeah. Really. Honestly, I just feel like you're preaching to me today. <laughs> like, this is just so, it's really inspiring too, just because the show, <laughs> just because the show does have so much of that heart and so much of that, like that they bring to it, uh, that no matter what happens, you just got to keep going. You got to see how it plays out. You want to take that next step. And I know uh, previously you were on season two of You and Elizabeth, who plays Jenny, was also on You. So did you guys have a chance to talk about that? I mean, like very different Joe living in this world. Uh, <laughs> right. We have joked about a like fifth or sixth realm of Joe coming out and him being a serial killer, too. Um, you know, we only worked one day together on the second season and she was playing like a ghost. Uh, she was like walking across the, the, right. uh, the street while um, Joe saw her. Um, and we like, we really got to say hi in passing, but we've laughed a lot about having that experience and being like, it's, isn't it so like our business that you'll be like, hey, I never know you. Oh my gosh, now we're like hanging out every day. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I love Elizabeth, though. She is one of my favorite people in general. Incredible human being. Um, and we both had such a good experience on you, too. So we had nothing but good things to say. I will say that I'm still alive in you. So, you know, my massage talents might come back. Who knows? Knock on wood. Okay. I love it. I love it. I, I mean, you never uh, know. I'll be bringing her ghost back. I'll be doing a seance or something like that. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of her character in you either. Like it's yeah. just a weird whirlwind. Um, so besides, uh, you know, kind of like sympathy and empathy and compassion and all of those things, what are some other things that you hope people get out of the show? 
Oof, ooh, there's so much. I mean, there's a personal side to me that I really, really would love to explore. You know, in one of the realms, Joe is a cop and mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a person of color. I'm mixed, you know what I mean? I'm a black and white person, but black. I, you know, I'm mostly the world identifying as. Um, right. Living that friendship and that existence. And I know it's past COVID, uh, you know, and it's past uh, a lot of the bigger movements of, of BLM. But I really, really want to see if we can explore that um, in a personal scope. Um, I don't know how much I'm allowed to give away about myself, but uh, I know that sexuality is a part that is explored on the show as well. And how yeah. that between these different realms, realms, um, existence, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. Um, are people different in them? How, how does that play? Are we all you know, the same? I, I personally think yes, <laughs> and we get to kind of explore that uh, question. Um, on a larger scope of an emotional sense, I hope it goes through everything. And that's that's the beautiful opportunity about the show is because we have these complicated pathways that are all playing at once, you can have a show where there is intense drama, intense comedy, and intense sadness, like all played out into one show and it will make sense. So I'm excited to see how we can take the audience on that journey in a technical way and also in an emotional kind of impactful um, side. Yes, absolutely. Because I too felt like, oh, like this is this is hilarious. This is really touching. This is really endearing. And then I was like, am I getting emotional right now? <laughs> and just really excited to see how that plays on uh, for the rest of the season in the series. So congratulations once again. I'm super, super excited for fans to see it and and just to see your trajectory, you know, like I randomly seen you in like a lot of different little things. So to now see you in this big like network NBC NBC show is is awesome, you know, like an actor's dream. It's my career goal to be like just I don't want people to really know me, but like I'm spattered around and you're like No, I saw it. I thought, uh, and every once in a while, you know, it's like, I need to get paid. (laughs) I'm thankful. I'm not only to have a job with, you know, with NBC and a job right now in this point in life where it's so complicated. I feel insanely blessed. But I'm thankful too that it's a job that I actually, I mean, I'm artistically challenged by and I'm excited by. And so props to NBC, props to the creators, Garrett and Russ, props to everybody all involved. (laughs) Yeah, it even sounds like too that actors in particular face a lot of like different realms and different journeys and oh what if I had done this what if I had done that done that like do you have any advice or words to the actors who are waiting for a moment like this? (laughs) It has taken me I was talking about it with a fellow actor this weekend it has taken me a long time to to believe this and to remind myself of it. Um, you know, I came from the same old Jackson school of thought in which it was like anything that is offered, you take it and you run with it. So, you know what I, mean? I still, a huge part of me believes in that. I believe in kind of rising to the occasion, even if you think it's the worst job you've ever had, make it good. Mm-hmm. That's literally what we are here to do. Um, it's a Meryl Streep kind of, you know what I mean? It's a Jeffrey Wright or uh, uh, yeah, Jeffrey Wright kind of mentality of like, you're that good that you can make something. <laughs> something. <laughs> I don't think I'm that good. Uh, <laughs> I'll say that up front. But I, I have to remind myself too that there is something to, to culminating or to creating your own career path and trajectory and holding off and waiting for the opportunities that are right or at least pushing yourself to create the opportunities that are right. Um, don't limit yourself on being a one note pony. Uh, I I wish that I could do more in the writing and creative structure, but that is the best way to make you start your jump point um, is by making it yourself. And a lot of people are eager to see it nowadays. So utilize the opportunity, y'all, utilize it. Um, And don't be afraid to say no when you need to. It's hard for me. (laughs) (laughs) Me too, so... I completely understand. So once again, thank you so much for your time. Truly, you gave us the spirit, you gave us anything is possible. If you just believe so, I love it, I love it. I can't wait for fans to see Ordinary Joe on NBC. So congratulations and I hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you, you too. Thank you for having me as well, really. Of course.
Where's the bus? Oh, yeah. Where is the bus? You said we used to be the same girl. 